reducing fractions right here, all right? And so, when you're reducing, remember that trick. If the numerator can divide into the denominator, that's what you divide by. So can six go into 12? Yes. So we're gonna divide by six. So six divided by six is one, and 12 divided by six is two. So my answer is one half. And again here, look at the four and the eight. We know that we just look for the largest number that will go into the numerator and the denominator. And in this case, I'm sure you're thinking four. Four would be correct here. All right, and so four goes into four one time, and four goes into eight two times. So one half again is our answer. All right, let's look right quickly over here. We have a story problem. Now this one is a lot like the one you have on your test. It's not exactly, but it is a lot like it. It says, Steve made three quarts of sweet tea. Oh, I love me some sweet tea. And two gallons of punch. How many quarts of sweet tea and punch did he make? So first of all, hmm. If you're thinking this is a measurement problem, you are correct. So we're gonna take what the story problem tells us. Three quarts plus two gallons. And I'm gonna run into, I'm running out of room right here. You guys know how I like to write all over the board. All right, plus two gallons equals, let's look what our answer needs to be in. How many, oh, right there it is, quarts. So our answer will be quarts. How many quarts? So here we go. Let's see. So our answer is in quarts. So which one do we need to change? If you said gallons, that's correct. We'll change this into quarts. All right, and we have our one, two, three underneath it. Now, now the first step is we see which one is larger. So which one's larger, gallons or quarts? In gallons is, so we're going from larger to smaller, multiply. Now what have we learned about quarts and gallons? We know that one gallon equals four quarts. So our problem we would work out is two times four equals eight. So eight would be our answer in the box. So now we just have to figure out our final answer. Three plus eight is 11. So our answer is 11 quarts. Now, I hope you guys do well on your test. Uh, make sure you take your time, work everything out. If you're struggling to remember multiplication tables, write them out, that is totally fine. Just take your time and do your very best. I'll look forward to grading it. Hope you guys have a great day.